was built by my brother and father actually, mainly around uh, I think eight years ago now. Uh, my father did a few rallies in it but he preferred the more traditional cars so I took over the car then. I made some changes to personalize the car. It's you see like custom made interior, everything is carbon fiber which is a bit unique for this car. A sequential gearbox from Sweden, it's a tractive gearbox, six speed. Uh, and then we run the, the, the actual original axle in the back, which is an Atlas axle running a 4.6 uh, LSD. I know now a lot of the electronic panels are smaller, but this one was built by uh, Magnum Motorsport in the UK and uh, my brother did the sort of layout. So we have the master power switch on, ignition switch, then the higher pressure low fuel pumps, starter uh, for the radiator. This is the sort of main ones. Then I've got the stack dash, which is more or less standard in a lot of modern rally cars. So yeah, it's, uh, yeah it's just, like I say, it's a few years old now, but been working quite fine. So we're definitely going to continue. And then we have the gear selector. We're running a six speed, like I said, tractive gearbox. So yeah, but as you see, we're not a lot of room in here. <laughs> this is the thing with the old cars. If you look around the paddock here, you'll see the sizes. When we are together, we're really in, you know? So we don't have to worry too much. If we are making some crash, for sure, we're not going to move far, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Here is not much space for the helmet. No, really when we sit in the car, you know, it's absolutely when we close the doors, me and Alex are not the smallest guys in there. <laughs> and this is a, this is probably the biggest challenge we have. And here are a few buttons for For navigator, yeah, we can, he can operate from that side, the horn, the wiper switches, the emergency lights and so on and so on. Uh, yeah, and like because the car is so small, everything you can touch, you know, it's not not like some of the modern WRCs now where you're sitting really far in the back. Before uh, the start of the stage, a lot of the times I'm saying, just put your arms down, you know, not to sit. So we have these discussions <laughs> a few times, but more or less when we're running on the stage, no problems at all. You know. How we started to drive together. I think we take a good sauna and a few beers and it came from that, you know, <laughs> some, some good ideas that maybe for Alex would be a good challenge in English language, you know, to try some. And it's been very good, to be honest. Yeah, I really say last three years, every stage we are going more and more, so enjoying it. What language is better for you to read the notes? What language? <laughs> not the Chinese, no. Uh, not Japanese. English is okay. Uh, mix of Lithuanian and Russian is okay. So it's no prob no problem for me at all. So in the first stages, when we first started, we stay we start with a casual mind, and I drive with a lot in reserve. So for sure, we had a few rights when it was really left. So you know those confusions. But for sure, after. I say it takes time, I think around 10 rallies before you can really say that it's you're confident, you know, it's particularly over the jumps and things. But now we're at that point, I'm very satisfied with the cooperation with Alex and it's good fun. So, to be honest, Calm has been the nicest so far just because of always getting some results. The stages are, are, are really, let's say, suit my, my driving. So uh, this, this rally has been a tough one because we broke down a few times. So last, But uh, last year we had a very nice memory. We broke down in the stage, we broke the rear half shaft. But the lady came out with some milk and honey and uh, some, we got like from a negative a big positive. So yeah, I'm looking forward to this stages and let's see how we go. On the left hand side without steering wheel and the car just goes fast and goes where we want to go. <laughs> so nice feeling, yeah, thank you. <laughs> mm -hmm.